This is a conference for all hip hop dancers to come together and discuss matters of the industry, matters of street dance, and to see if I guess to see if we're all still on common ground, if we all see things, if we all see things eye to eye. I think it's an amazing thing because the industry in South Africa, even though it's so small, it's already so split and divided. So just getting everyone on the same mindset, on the same wavelength, working together to kind of build the scene and build the industry, it's like an amazing thing for us. We talked about you know CVs and headshots, and as a dancer and a choreographer, whether you're a choreographer or a dancer, that's very important because not having a CV, that doesn't make sense. You, your credits aren't shown of what jobs you've done. They don't take you seriously. If you don't have a headshot, they don't take you seriously. So you shouldn't even call yourself a dancer or choreographer if you don't have a headshot or CV. It's to make yourself professional and for them to understand your credits which makes it better for you for your pay. Because dancers basically look at it as, hey, if they hired me, they hired me. That's it. You know, they came to me anyway. And they, don't, they forget that actually this person is just, you know, hiring you as a, as a, as a toy. And be like, oh, you know, they they're disposable, they're easy to get. For the whole scene, for all of us dancers, I really hope that we get an understanding of the fact that we can't just go anywhere out there and bust a move. Like there's so much more to it, being the business side, being history side, being studying, learning, going to class. Um, so I hope that we can all find common ground and not preach different things out there, especially since we're all under one umbrella of street dance and hip-hop dance. Your credits matter, your resume matter, and do not make fake resumes. You'll get caught out and you're stealing jobs from people who really worked hard and you could screw yourself in the long run. Number one, getting a unity in the mindset would be great. Understanding to build the scene, the underground scene as it is, and to build the craft, the individual craft in like b-boying and locking and all of that, that's number one. For us to understand, we have to actually all work together to build the scene and we can't use politics to divide the scene. And then secondly, in the commercial industry, for us to raise our standards and raise our worth and really push the level of that up because we have a lot of people stepping up in the commercial industry who know nothing about hip hop who are taking our place. Hey, what up? My name is Sino. My name is Timmy Clady. I'm Michelle Openshaw. I'm here at the South African Hip Hop Dance Conference. Hey, we're at the SA Hip Hop Dance Conference. We're here at Zinto at the SA Hip Hop Dance Conference. And you're watching Certified Funk TV. Certified Funk TV. Major shout out to Certified Funk TV.